The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Tuesday, October the 5th. My pleasure to be here at 10 o'clock is the time. And of course at 11 o'clock you've now got Larry Pesavento and I think a smooth Kevin Hinks hosting is at 11. And then we've got, no, as it is at noon. And then you've got Steve Rhodes and you've got Dave White and Tom O'Brien. So let's look at the market. Dow's up very nicely. It's up 250 at 34,250. Look at this. Big red candle uh, four sessions ago. Big green candle three sessions ago. One session, two sessions ago, um, we've got, no, it was yesterday. We've got a big red candle, and now we've got the potential for a green. I love the sandwich effect. What it usually says is the direction you've come from is direction you should go back if there is a fourth candle in that color, a <laughs> big candle. Well, we'll see. This is just the start of the day. We're not even uh, 35 minutes, 36 minutes into the trading day. <laughs> We're going to see what happens uh, after this. And we've got up 244, 34,245. The pink a nine period moving average is just at about 34,280. And then at 34,392, you've got the uh, black. 14 period exponential moving average in the daily. I'm suspecting we've got the potential for an arch pattern that goes to a second arch. It's that H that goes to a lowercase m. And if you look at the weekly chart, very, very poor action. And uh, so this is a, this is a question in the den was, uh, is this a bounce? Uh, is this a small dead cat bounce? You know, I've never liked the expression dead cat. I don't know where it, ugh, I don't know where it came from. I don't like the connotation. I don't like the inhumane aspect, even though it's just an expression. It is just a bounce. But the bounce can be quite quite high. It could go all the way to the 34,600 level if certain conditions are met. And if it does that, if it goes over, doubt goes over 34,650, closes above that, then I suspect we're looking at the rectangle formation. And what we're anticipating is that over a period of days and weeks, you're going to suddenly get the bad news that says, uh oh, be careful, and boom, we come down. But if we can be building a base between 33,700 and 33,600, the longer we keep that base, the greater the chances are that if we dive down below it, you can come back inside. If right now there's a failure, and we're looking at the end of the day, instead of being down up uh, 260 points, it is up uh, just 60. And tomorrow's a down day, a sharp down day. That is really poor action because it means in the H pattern, you couldn't even get a bounce or a new letter to the upside. It just turned down. I don't like that at all. That, that would not be good at all. OK, let's get back to the story here with the S&P. The S&P also is up, so the Dow is up. 0.76%, uh, the S&P is up 0.87%, even bigger percentage, but it's been underperforming. It made a lower low yesterday. <clears throat> and within that context, there's only a leg C to the downside. More importantly, what we're looking at is the weekly chart for the, for the uh, third week has gone underneath the 14 period exponential moving average. Last week, it closed under the 14 period moving average, but that nine period moving average is still above the 14. And that's a good sign. But look at this, this major trend line support. It just went under it. So we're going to see whether or not. Now, what we've done for subscribers to my opening call, we bought a stock that I've liked a long for, for a long time, never owned it, never even put it in the watch list. It's just something I, I followed because I didn't quite understand what it did. But it had earnings the other day, and it, it had... You know, I talk about the aspect of a gap up or a gap down, what I expect within three bars, et cetera. This fulfilled every, all the criteria. So we grabbed that as a long position. We started a long position in it. It's nicely off the low. Um, that's kind of how I'm doing this now. Also, we went back into the Dow on the long side. We've been long, short, long. We've got a core long position that goes all the way back to April of last year. Not touching that, but we also have these trading positions. And that's how I'm trying to do this, so that instead of picking select stocks, because that's really uh, tough to do in this environment because you don't know how fund managers are either getting out of or getting in certain positions, 
I am trying my best to uh, get into positions that on stocks that in this environment right now are showing leadership quality. I don't know if this is going to work, but we did get into this particular one. And a leg A to the upside on the pullback. Maybe it's a peak A, but it is holding quite nicely right now. Uh, other than that, we've got our core positions that we're holding. They've had fantastic gains. I, I'm prepared to give up on the, the, the positions that we've got left over uh, from having taken really good gains. I'm prepared to see that uh, diminish to a little bit, a little bit. Um, and mostly, how do you handle this environment? And I think the answer is selectively. That's just that's all I can say. One, two, three. QQQ up nicely, up 1.12 percent. Uh, let's see, we've got up 3.96 at 3.56.57. And as I said, right there, that was about the, the uh, what was it, the ninth of the high was ninth, the seventh of September, 382.78. We went short on the ninth, just about a point and a half off the all-time high, and it plunged down to, say, so it's gone from 382.78. The, the Qs have gone down to 354.38, and and deserve a really good bounce. They could even go to the nine-period moving average, the pink moving average at um, 361.07. That's a possibility. Here's the other thing: the weekly chart absolutely looks like a sell mode. So this is a counter trend bounce. That's all I, I don't want to use that term, but it is a counter trend bounce. And the NDX 100, these tech stocks, they are, uh, I just need to do something. I promised myself I would do that. I'm going to get out of that position. Out, exit, oops, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Exit, I just need to get out of something. Thank you. We're out, okay, good. Ooh, that was quite a ride. Um, now, let's go to this uh, IWM, the Russell 2000. IWM, just in this range, isn't showing leadership, but it is showing holding potential. At the same time, uh, it's not breaking down. It's just kind of trapped in this middle area. That's good action in this environment, but I don't think it's great action. So it's stuck. If you look at the weekly chart, stuck in the rectangle formation, high of 234.53 back in March, low of, I forget to put that in, 208, I think it was, in the 208, 209 area. And it's just trapped going in and out and in and out. And the monthly chart has gone to a peak C1, C2, and we'll see what happens after this. Now, this is going to be very important. If you go to... Um, the gold contract, which is down very sharply, down 17 at 1750. What I've been discussing is the reason why, for subscribers, I don't really want to go into gold at this particular point, is because gold is in an intraday traders uh, traders heaven. You could just do. There's so much you can do, but not in the longer term yet, or even in the intermediate term. Why? Well, let me just do silver because they kind of go together. So gold's down 17 at 1750. Silver's down. 17 cents at 2247, holding a little bit better now than gold. But the reason I think that I'm talking about this in this particular fashion is the tradable is the Bitcoin. Now look at that Bitcoin. You see, once in, uh, I, I wouldn't, uh, can I call them investors? Once, once you get people in the market that like to do trading, they want to go for the most volatile. So at 50,690 up to 35, Bitcoin is trying to get back to the recent And look at that. What a range from 40,400 to 40,000. It's actually quite relevant. That's where the money's going up. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi everyone, we're back. Basil Chapman. As I said, the Bitcoin it trades 24 hours, just about 24 hours a day. It's up 860 at 50,716. It should try to get to a leg C in the weekly chart. So now I think Bitcoin is actually in play for more of a, you know, it moves so quickly. I would like to say short term increasing to an intermediate term. But when I say intermediate term, I usually mean weeks. This, this could be a week or, or less. But in the meantime, I think it'll go above the high of 53,125 to start leg C over the coming uh, week or two. And key support will be at the 40,000, uh, 40, 45,000, yeah, 45,800 level. All right. So um, needed to show you high grade copper, high grade copper. So, um, there are signs for me that say there are aspects of the market that are starting to improve. They are almost separated in a way from uh, what you can see visually every day when they look at uh, stocks. In fact, let me just do this. I'll move this to the side and right behind it, something that I, uh, I look at often, not all the time. Look, uh, Berkshire Hathaway, this is the, the, the most volatile uh, let me just see what, what it is. So Berkshire Hathaway is up uh, fast, net change. is up $3. Uh, Amazon is up 50 Shop Shopify is up 33 So this is a list of, of, the, of the, the big percentage winners that I probably, I think, what is it called? I think it's got a name. I, I don't want to get, I don't want to mess things up right now. But it's a volatile list. All right. And because of that, I'm looking at this and saying, oh, OK, um, that's kind of the area that we've been avoiding in a certain way. So here we are. High grade copper says things are not great, but they're not that bad. It isn't breaking down. Got to keep watching it. I always watch wood, which is the iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF. There it goes. Wood is down uh, nine cents at 8486. Yeah, and this is telling me the biggest story that the world economies are slowing down a little bit. I, I, I had a question. Let me go to the EEM. Same thing. EEM can't rally very much. It's in lower highs and lower lows. FXI, same thing there. Having a bit of a bounce today. In fact, this bounce could last a little longer. It's at 38.12, up 46 cents. I could say it could get back to the 38.50, 30. If it breaks into the 39.20s, all of a sudden we, we've got a slight 
trend change that we have to respect um, uh, in the FXI, but it's still more a balance than anything else. Um, now, let me go back to what we were looking at before. I want you to finish up with the dollar is looking okay. Dollar is, in fact, up a little bit. It's up 19 ticks at 93.99. Did make a peak E top with just about 90, just under 94.50. Uh, pulling back the MACD's good stochastics okay at 79 percent on balance volume. I don't get you because this doesn't trade. It's the dollar index. We use the UUP which as a trading vehicle. But the weekly chart says, hey, there's still strength going into the dollar. And the monthly chart says, yep, there's still strength going into the dollar. So I don't want to ignore that. Other things that we're looking at here is the EUR. I don't want to get too much time here. Euro is pulling back again, like like gold. And that's what I was saying, that the, the weight of evidence says that Euro is coming down still. It hasn't formed a base. This trend line right here, the inside Chapman Wave inside track, suggests that you've got to watch the level of 1.53, 1.153 very closely, and we're, we're at 1.158 at this particular point. Let me just see. Uh, oh, TLT. This is the uh, Lehman 20-year Treasury bond fund. Stuck. It just cannot get out of its own way. It means that the TNX.X, that is the 10-year yield, is rallying a little bit. It's up in the higher range. I'm, I'm cognizant of this. This is really important. The uh, downtrend line has been pierced, the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, and is now above that. You do that just by going sideways. But when there's a concerted effort where the MAGD turns up, I have to tell you, when you look at inflation, this is a sign of inflation, but it's only just beginning to show up in the yields. And very often, the two don't necessarily have to go together, but they do often go together. And in this particular instance, you've got the, um, right here, You've got the 10-year at 1.52%. That's 15.221 on my chart. And um, that what we are looking at is within the context of trading ranges, we're just in the trading range for, for, for the yields at this particular point. When you start to see concerted weekly higher highs in a quicker time frame without taking a few weeks to consolidate and you move... Uh, uh, to the 16.3 area, 16, 1.63, uh, that's going to be something very different. We haven't done it yet. A uh, question in the den, am I to surmise that oil is holding up the market? No, no, no. Um, uh, oil is a sector that has been absolute, I don't want to say on fire, but it has been, it has been in rocket mode. And certainly the, this oil spill hasn't helped. And I was about, we did have the three day consolidation. I said, I think we're in for a brief consolidation. That was last week. We were in the 74, uh, 76, 60 area. And we, oh, wow, three days of consolidation. Boom, we broke out again because of the weekend news. No, I, I'm just going to say that I like to see crude oil moving higher. I think there are, um, there are other aspects to this that are also holding crude up. It has to do with marketplace. It has to do with, it does have to do with demand, but I think it's at this particular point a little bit less demand than it is. Although you, if I, on the road the other day, I mean, going, going, coming back from um, Western Mass, uh, the, the Mass Turnpike was just chock a out. Yeah, it was moving very quickly, but full, absolutely full. So you, you go anywhere. There's a lot of traffic. So that's part of it. Um, but I think there are other uh, other aspects to this that are really important in, to crude oil. And I'm calling this an F. It has a characteristic of more of a B at this particular point. But I do think that crude oil, having moved into the 79 area, is saying it's starting to bump into potential. Let me just see. Let me use the Chapman Wave automated resistance levels. Let's go to crude oil here. Continuous contact, contract. Yeah, 79.53 is the weekly. That's the last one. Above that, it goes to the weekly of 80 points. What is that? 80 point 40 to 91 point 40. So there's no question that this is a spectacular move in crude oil. It does have some resistance levels. Intraday 78.98. Uh, it's at 77.58 right now. Um, it has gone to 79.18. So. Is bumping into the resistance levels. Otherwise, it goes all the way to 86. That's that level in the monthly chart uh, going back um, a couple of years. Well, 
Come, unbelievable. Yeah, and that, that is both a positive and in, in a way it's a negative. So it's the, if you look at the OIH, look at this, how it's lagging. The OIH is in a leg E in the week in the daily chart, but it's only a leg C in the monthly. And that all-time high that was made back in was it May, um, June, June the week of the fourth at 248.09, we slumped all the way down to the 160s, and now we're at 214. A lot of catching up to do. So this is a, a sector that for subscribers, I keep saying we've got to get in. We haven't got in. We've got some fabulous entries in other things. So it, it's only upsetting because I do like to pick the sectors that are working for us to be in. Um, that, that's the way it is. So yes, oil is a very important part of this. And so far, it's been a plus. And if you look at Jets, which is the airline index, it is. It is a plus. I'll be back. That's a tap and that's a four. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So I was doing a little cleaning up, never never voluntarily, but uh, I was threatened that I got to get these things tidied up. And I went back and I had all of these newsletters. I couldn't, I can't imagine how much I, I still put in hours of work every day for my newsletter. Um, and um, I had these newsletters going back, and in one of them I had a picture of a Tucker, a Tucker automobile, 1948 Tucker automobile. I'm trying to find here. It says Tucker 48 torpedo. This, these are posters, I guess. Uh, let me just see this one right here. Oh, and look at that. I didn't have that. Um, look at this. This is uh, Tucker. Look at that. Look at that one there. 
Look at that side uh, torpedo. That's really like a torpedo. Anyway, and I discussed it because I was discussing, it was 1998, 99, I was discussing how automobiles were going to be very important when we finally get the next big top, which of course was January 2000. Um, uh, anyway, so we're at this particular point, I'm going back into the automobile sector to start looking at cars. Um, and the the designs are starting to get back into that sort of thing. Design is very important. Anyway, let's get off that. I, I had a question. Should, can I show BBBY? BBBY, B -B -Y, not BBBY. This is Best Buy coming a nice bounce. In fact, the Best Buy just the other day down in Watertown when I was there, um, I, I didn't go to it. I was going past it. I had a lot of cars. And that's where you go for electronics. I mean, it's one of the easy places to go to, and they, they do help you quite a bit. But look, it had a big plunge from the 120s down to the uh, 90s, and now it's at 107, a nice day today, up $1.83. If you're thinking of going along on this, even in this environment, look, the best thing is at 107.29, start a position, start a position, and figure out what I would have a, at, at $100. I normally would say $3 stop, $350. Uh, it's kind of what we just did today. We went into our stock at $113. It's now $115.64. So it just gives us that cushion. I had a three point stop and it, it got within uh, just uh, just barely. We got most of, most of by the low of the day. But that's the only way you can do it. So if you like it, this is where it should bounce, but I would only treat it as a bounce. It's got tons of resistance. 107.81 is the 14 period moving average resistance. 111.03 is the 200 period moving average. It's crossing the 50 period moving average. Um, so there's a lot of resistance. If at any point in October, it closes on a daily basis above 112, it's only five points up from here, five percent. In the 112s, I would suggest to you that it's more than a bounce, that it could actually have a nice range, even though it doesn't, it sort of stalls out to the upside, but it could have higher highs and higher lows. At the same time, it would be building a really nice base. So if anyone's interested in that, the question came up, could I look at BBBY? And BBY, not BBBY, that's terrible. Bed, Bath and Beyond. Uh, BBY is, is Def Best Buy. It's kind of, I mean, it's, it's there, look, all time high. Uh, peak C it should still go to a deal. Those could be a little time out here. But yeah, this is the way to do it. Uh, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid unless you say, look, I'm just going to, um, yes, yes, Tucker, they look quite spiffy, something like a very, very upscale Studio Baker. Not the Studio Baker, the one that I always love. Studio Baker, a friend of mine had one in South Africa. Uh, Studio Baker, not the Lark, Studio Baker, whatever it was. Anyway, yeah, the Studio Baker had a slightly different design. Okay, so now let's get back to our story here. One of the th so we did that, we did that, we did that. Uh, questions come come in. Okay, Newmont Mining. Where did I just type that? And I think I typed it into the uh, <laughs> the wrong <laughs> the wrong window. Newmont Mining. Any? Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Newmont Mining. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to take a little effort here on my part. So let's see. Let me just go here. If I remember correctly what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here and I'm going to say Format. This is just one. I've got this mouse. It's, I love the mouse. It's quiet. It's portable. It's just tiny. Uh, but boy, it's so quick, it's so easy to hit the wrong thing. Expand the range, fixed range. I don't want fixed, I want custom. Oh no, where am I going to go for this? Uh, automatic range, data, expand range. Uh, just for the moment, I'm going to go to here and give it, uh, what is it trading at now? Let's just make it 191, 190. Oh, please, please help me out. Okay. Okay, close. Oh, I hate this. Oh, no. Oh, this is terrible. This is not just terrible, but it is unbearably terrible. All right, so Newmont Mining will go here. Uh, Newmont Mining, NEM, NEM. Oh, I'm just messing things up further and further. So the question is, 
I'm just going to cancel it out. So the question is, so, um, hi, Basil. NEM has been in a rectangle since uh, 9-17-21. Yeah, this is a small rectangle, correct? Uh, as you often say, a rectangle can last a lo lot longer than, well, he says, as, as you often say, a rectangle can last longer than my patients. I've been wanting to load up on NEM for a Christmas run upward. However, I'm hesitant here as this rectangle can be building cause to take another leg down. What are your thoughts? Thanks, Hector. So, Hector, look, I I would prefer, when it, especially when it comes to a gold stock, I'd prefer, prefer to um, move with higher highs and higher higher lows. Yeah, Golden Hawk. Uh, um, it's at 53.53. It's down a dollar 14. It's actually making lower lows as we speak. And if you look at the weekly chart, it's not good. I'm just going to suggest to you that two things. One is, for, for instance, this, I, I'm going to use myself as an example today. I was absolutely sure that the market would have a would market would have a big rally, so I went long the futures, the S and P futures, got stopped out. It had a little pop, then it got stopped out. I did it again. I did it again. Did it again. I did it maybe five times, because I was at each time it had a rally. But the S and P was acting horribly. It just kept on getting, just breaking, and then finally when I got it right, it more than made up. It more than made up the gain. So I'm going to say to you, I'm using this as an example, that's all. Uh, just if you have a mindset, if you're absolutely convinced on that mindset, and look, the, the, the Dow is up 386, the S&P is up almost 50 points. So absolutely was the right thing. If you are, if your own analysis says that there should be a rally in the gold stocks and, and Newmont Mining in particular, Try to separate the technique of getting in to the mentality of idea fixe. You know, there's uh, Berlioz had this uh, fantastic, uh, Hector Berlioz had this fantastic, absolutely an unbelievable piece that he wrote for his conservatoire um, uh, final exam to, 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 to graduate from the, from the Paris Conservatoire. And it was called uh, Symphony Fantastique. And it, it, it's got this idea fixe, an idea that just keeps repeating, keeps coming back. So I'm gonna, I, I'd like to take a moment to deal with that when we return about your idea fixe and reality. I'll be back, Dows of 387, I'll be right back. Let's see if I Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Well, I did manage to get back. Unfortunately, I keep remembering now to keep saving. So now that I save, I just lose a little bit of stuff. I lost the notations on my uh, my uh, very short-term charts, but that's okay. That's uh, the, the uh, e-mini. So you want mining. So this is what I'm going to recommend. Um, try to get that idea that you, you're anticipating, I'm also anticipating sometime towards the end of the year, we're gonna have a decent rally in gold, but I wanna see that, I wanna see strength. Look, the monthly chart on Newmont Mining just took out for the second month, it's taken out the low after the peak D top, and that was in February of uh, this year, it went to 54.18 before it had that big spike, a rogue wave spike to the upside uh, in May, to 7531 and now it's gone even lower so i try to separate your ideas from the technical veracity that you're looking at right now and all i'm saying is we're making lower lows and lower highs so what i would suggest to you is if there is a move you might have to sacrifice a point or two to the down to the upside but the downside is an unknown because even on the on the weekly chart look at this we, we for this is the the third week that the price is down, and you know my rule of the arch formation, you've got two to three weeks to close above the left side low, in this case, the low of uh, the 26th of Feb at 54.18. So here's the way I would do this. Instead of saying load up, why don't you say, I'm going to enter Newmont Mining here. It's looking terrible, but it's in a range and it's got a pattern with this rectangle formation that says, at worst, that even if it pulls back to the 52s, it could bounce back to 53.50, 54.20, and give me a second chance to try to make make up my mind. So if you want to start a small position here at 53.38, that's keeping in mind that it's not yet ready for a big turn. It hasn't given a signal. It'll give that big si signal if it starts to trade at 56.80 to 57, uh, 56. 55.60 to 56.20, at any time in October, it'll say, ha, huh, I'm breaking to the upside. So you could just nibble, nibble on the position right now. So now you're in the game and you say to yourself, okay, I've got a one point or whatever it is that you want as, as a stop. I wouldn't go more than one and a half points. I just, I wouldn't give back more than a couple of percent. This is just an experiment, just a nibble. And then if it starts to turn, I would start thinking of adding incrementally as it makes higher highs and definitely higher lows. But that's the way I would think about it. And it's not quite a rectangle, although I'll draw the rectangle in because it's gone to lower lows. It's out of the rectangle, the base of the rectangle. But that's okay. And the MACD is rallying, but the price is failing. So there's a divergence here which could turn positive, but it hasn't yet. So just keep in mind, not only that you also have to look at the price of gold, all right, I hope that helps you. So, yes, a rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. Yes, it's broken below, but it hasn't closed yet below the, the, the most recent low bar, which is at 53.26, below today's 53.21, pretty close, uh, but so far holding okay. But if you ask me where would I want to get in Newmont Mining, 
I'd much prefer to be get the turn and bind strength than weakness. That's really the issue. So the rectangle formation is in play. It's dipped under it. It could go even a little bit lower. And I wouldn't want to start a position unless I was just nibbling to get a feel for it in real time because once you own it, you're watching it a lot closer. I hope that helps you. And yep, all of these are on my mind. I'm just going to show you the ASA. ASA is uh, the same thing. It's make, uh, making an arch. ASA, gold and precious metals, same category. It, it's got a little bit more strength because the MAGD is starting to improve. The Newmont mining is not. This is a better one in chart formation, and it hasn't taken out the left side low. That's a much better pattern that I look at at this particular point. And NG, which is Nova Gold, has had a really good move off the low. This is just a baby. Nova Gold Resources at, at $6.99. So there's a real mix in the whole aspect of the gold stocks. So you have to think of it both in a unified sector formation as well as your individual stock. Hope that helps you. Okay, next thing I had was Moz, which is, I spoke about this yesterday, the Mosaic, Mosaic Company, phosphate, phosphate and Potash, made a new leg C in the monthly chart. A leg C breakout, and this is a leg C as far as I'm concerned, with an, a buy mode in the weekly chart, and a leg F slash B in the daily chart. I like it very much, and I can't remember the question whether you had it or not. Um, just let me go back to the very beginning of my show here, and the question was, uh, ooh, where was it? The picky, can you just phrase it again? I don't, I'm not sure you're in this. And you had a question about it, and I wanted to do it as an analysis rather than to, to say, um, yeah, so I'm just going to do that. If you're not in Mosaic and it's trading at 38.66 at a new recovery, just about a new recovery high, the MACD is strong, stochastics at 88%, fabulous, unbalanced volumes a tad overbought. Do I like it? I like it a lot. Do I like the sector? I don't really follow the sector, but every time I have to remember, what is the mosaic again? And there was another one there as well. I just can't remember. It used to be POT, potash. That's, that must have been taken over because it's disappeared. Um, so phosphate and potash is in play. I like it. How do you play it? Well, this is different to the stock that we got in, which was making the same kind of pattern with the recovery high um, because it is a, in a sector that is doing really well in this market environment. So now I say, okay, well, Mosaic is in a sector that's doing really well. So this is the way I would look at it. Start your engines, just get a, get a position. This is a little bit different to Newmont Mining. Here I'm going to say a little bit more than just an entry, just get started. In other words, it's not a nibble. This is where you, you don't get the full position. You don't get a small position. You get a position, and that's the starter position. And then you have to deal with it after that. If it rallies sharp and you've only got to start a position, it's a pleasure to have to say, oh, I wish I had more. If it takes a big dive after this, then you say, great, I'm so pleased I had a starter position. We do There's nothing wrong other than the price has gone higher uh, than I would like to enter it for the safety's sake. That's all. I would prefer it to 30, uh, 3710 to 3610 area just as a starter position. Big deal. So it's over two and a half points higher. If it's going to go much higher, now let me show you something. This is what I like to do with these charts. Once you go, look at this. Do you remember when uh, this was on fire uh, back in 2008 when the market tanked? This continued higher. It went all the way to 160 something. What was that? 161? 163.25 in June of in June of 2008 had a little bit of an initial dip just in five months. It went right down to 20-something, 20 21, I think it was, 21.94. I would say that's a little bit of a dive, okay? And then it runs peak, runs peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, and it goes to a high of February of 2011 at 89.24. And then it takes a little bit of a dive, and the most recent low was at eight, at $6.50. And now it's at 38, and when was that? That was March of last year. I like this chart. I think it's got something going for it. So Mosaic is in play. I'm just saying risk-reward. I wouldn't get a big position right now. I would start my position. I hope that helps you, Peaky.
I'll be back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call. And you, too, can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was just asked if I could show that post again. Yeah, this is Tucker. This is, oh, Jeff Richards. Tucker. Oh, well, this is just a movie. Tucker. Oh, there was a movie on this guy, Tucker. Yeah, he was a designer. Uh, yeah, so uh, all I can say is... Uh, very interesting. We've got the same thing happening now in the 2020, 2021, 2022 era, and it's happening in the uh, even even Rolls Royce has decided to get some real design <laughs> in their cars because boy, they didn't produce very beautiful cars. Okay, um, they are beautiful in luxury, yes, but I'm just talking about design. Uh, Basil, you read my mind with the VIX. I find myself drawn to the long side of the UVXY, but the VIX technicals are weak. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. So look at the VIX index. The VIX index, after the selling that we've had lately, look, the VIX index is down at 21, down $1.96, 8%. 8 I suspect that the VIX is going to be pulling back some. And as the bad news comes in, it's now going to have to be even more serious bad news than it was to knock that VIX back up rocketed up into the 2580s. Um, and at this particular point, I think the VIX just needs a rest. The QQQ, let me just sum it up. The QQQ needs a rally. It's getting the rally. It's a nothing rally. It hasn't even gone above yesterday's high. I think by the end of the day, there's a chance we will. There's a chance by Wednesday, Thursday, we try to head towards the 360s at 357 right now. If you're looking at the Dow, INDU, look, the Dow, Nice move up above yesterday's high. This is what we were wanting. That's why we went back to the long position. And we'll see what happens. And all you can do is treat it first as a trade. And then if it holds and it's even better, great. 
But you got to do your homework. You got to do your planning, and that's it. Look at the S and P. The S and P was lagging a lot. Now it's gone above yesterday's high. It still needs to go quite a bit higher. It needs to go into the 43.65 area. It's at 43.58 right now. So with that said, be very selective. Don't be afraid at this particular point to put on a buy and treat it as a short-term trade. And if it happens to do everything you want to plus, that's a bonus. Have a wonderful day. I'll be back with Tom a little later on this afternoon. Stay tuned. You've got Larry Pesavento coming up, and I will be here with the uh, market update in a few minutes. Check out.